Welcome back to Overtime. It has been a challenging stretch for companies whose products are designed to help software developers do their jobs more efficiently. Today, John takes time out with a so-called DevOps company CEO who's used to having to carve out her own path. Yeah, Morgan. Jennifer Tejada is the CEO of PagerDuty, whose software promises to alert companies to glitches in their data centers and then help mitigate before the problems spiral. She grew up in a working class community, actually several of them in the Midwest, part of a big family where you had to fight for your spot. There was a little bit of um, Darwinism, sort of uh, fight for survival in our family. If you were late to dinner, there might not be any. If you didn't grab you know, dinner from the table, you, you might still get stabbed by a fork, but you had a really good chance of eating. Um, we were all expected to contribute. I think every kid in my family had a job before we were 10, whether it was a paper route or babysitting. Um, and we all were also expected to give back to our community, whether it was by singing in the choir in church or participating in a bike-a-thon or raising, you know, money through selling cookies for the Girl Scouts, like you name it, we were doing that all the time. Today, PagerDuty is using automation and generative AI technologies to keep customers, developers, focused on the most critical tasks and to help them get things like documentation done faster. Despite, you know, the economic environment that we've been in, we still have a significant talent shortage as it relates to software developers. And so anything that our customers can do to reduce the time that software developers spend on non-value added activities and get them back to building and innovating, like they, they see that time as money. And so uh, when I talk to C-level executives like CIOs and CTOs, they want to know how do I reduce the level of toil? that my software developers face on a day-to-day -day basis? How do I get them to spend more hours of their day doing deep work, writing code, committing new products and services into production, and less time dealing with unplanned, unstructured work that comes their way but requires their subject matter expertise? So the timeout takeaway here, DevOps will pay. Not saying that every DevOps company stock is going to rise, but from technologies like Microsoft's GitHub Copilot that speed up the coding process to security platforms like CrowdStrike and Zscaler that make it easier for IT departments to deploy and monitor cyber defense, there's a new gear in this drive for engineer efficiency. It reminds me, Morgan, of when hardware vendors pushed into services 15, 20 years ago to grow their share of wallet. And of course, I and we will be watching out for this effect when PagerDuty reports earnings next week. We sure will. It's also interesting, too, because the economy has been holding up and productivity has been growing. And this speaks to the role that software and now increasingly AI is playing in that process. Yeah. Good stuff, John.